So in Godzilla Monster Planet, we have the premise of Godzilla taking over the Earth for the past 20,000 years. He drived humanity away from the planet, but now the main protagonist of the film has a taste for vengeance as they return back to the Earth in order to kill Godzilla. However, 20,000 years have passed, and things are drastically different. In Godzilla Monster Planet, this will be the largest version of Godzilla yet. And I'm wondering, do the humans know that 20,000 years have passed since they last visited Earth? And what has he been up to since then? What sort of activities has Godzilla taken part in? And does he have a food resource? This is a very unique take on the image of Godzilla, as he seems to be plant-based, with organic matter and fungi hanging off of him. He has a sort of chiseled, wooden-like appearance, and he seems to be rather armored by nature itself. A body fused with plant life. Is this how he appeared back when he chased humanity off of the planet? Or is this a more modern rendition of his physical appearance? Has such things come forth after the humans left the Earth? It almost seems as though he might be camouflage. I theorize that perhaps this is a defense mechanism. Do the subconscious natural aspects of Godzilla understand that an attack might come from the sky? We know in the past that he fought flying kaiju, and even kaiju from space, such as King Ghidorah and Space Godzilla. Might this be an environmental adaptation for Godzilla's defenses? Historically, we know that Godzilla would be energized by the radiation from the Earth. But now, after so much time has passed and humanity left the Earth, he very well might be receiving his energy from other sources. Being a plant-based creature now, it very well might be photosynthesis, perhaps absorbing energy from the sun itself. And as time continues to progress, the sun very well might be getting hotter and brighter, reaching a sort of supernova state. Perhaps Godzilla, with his greater size, took advantage of this and alternated his energy consumption to be rather from the sun itself, utilizing chlorophyll for his growth. So far, we are uncertain if there will be other kaiju other than the Servum competing with Godzilla. But assuming there might be other kaiju, are they living in peace together to where Godzilla roams freely and they leave one another alone? And more importantly, do the humans realize that Godzilla changed in his adaptation? It should be noted that for the past 20,000 years, he no longer had to adapt to the humans' weaponry. If the humans know this, it would make logical sense as to why they think they stand a chance against him now. Maybe their weapons will be more effective against a Godzilla who no longer has to adapt to highly explosive weaponry, among other things. I theorize he will be more at risk of being damaged by the humans, and this is why humanity might stand a slim chance against him this second time around. But what do you guys think? What has Godzilla been up to for this duration of time? And will the humans stand a chance against him as they presume they might? Let me know in the comments section below. And like this video if you haven't yet. I am the Iceman. More videos to come.